Bay County, the Florida Highway Patrol on the hunt tonight for a suspect involved in this deadly incident on Highway 22 last night. A man dying at the scene after a car rear-ended his scooter and fled. News 13's Kelly Grossfield spoke with family members of the victim. They say they want justice. A father of three who loved fishing and his family. 43-year-old Jamie Michael Langford was killed Sunday night around 8 o'clock. The accident happening on Highway 22 just short of the Bay and Gulf County line. Family members of Langford are heartbroken. For somebody to just leave him, you know, just to hit him and leave him like... He didn't deserve that. His niece, Whitney Langford, says he was her only uncle and the greatest man she had ever known. My uncle was a very loving, kind-hearted person. He would never leave without hugging your neck and telling you that he loves you. Never. She says he was returning to Weewahitchka after helping her mother with car issues during the day Sunday. While en route on Highway 22, a car hit Langford and left the scene. Another vehicle traveling behind the first one hit him again. If the first person that hit him would have stopped just to check on him instead of kept going, then maybe he would have still had a chance to make it. The family mourns the loss while searching for justice, and his niece has some words for the person responsible. Would you be okay with it? Like, are you, are you really going to be able to live with yourself after knowing that someone is now dead because of your actions? Kelly Grossfield, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The family has started a GoFundMe account to help pay for funeral expenses. If you're interested in helping during this time, check out the story at mypanhandle.com.